South Africa and today we'll be hypnotizing the chickens and using different methods. Okay, so for the first method we're gonna use the line method. Okay, so let me go catch a chicken and then we'll be on. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> wow. I like this chicken a lot. It is a cuckoo chicken. It's a pure South African breed and it is very, very friendly. And as you saw, I caught it very easily and I really like this cuckoo. Uh, okay, so there will be three methods I will share with you. Two is hypnotizement and the last one is where you put your chicken to sleep in seconds okay so the first method will be the line method the second one will be wiggling your finger and the third method will be tuck and wing so stick around in the end of the video I will share the sleeping method tuck and wing so stick around So for the first method, we'll be drawing a line in front of its beak while it's sitting down on its chest. Just in an important tip I can give you to never put a chicken on its back because that may cause death because it will cut off the airflow and may also um, your chicken can faint and if you do it the wrong way the chicken can break its hip so we'll just put it down on its chest with head down and we'll draw the line from its beak for about 30 centimeters with a jaw it can be done in the sand also So the chicken's heart rate is as low so that's why it's not moving as much and it is not advisable to keep it in the state for too long because that places them under uh, stress and stress is not really good for your chicken and if you want to get them out of the hypnotizing effect you can just clap your hands or just pick him up. Uh, okay so now it's time for method number two wiggling the finger okay so we'll just also place the chicken down on its breast not pressing too heavily and we'll just wiggle our finger about for 10 centimeters from its beak and wiggle our finger until he is not moving so we still see some movement sitting still and maybe you will ask me is this harmful to our chickens no it is not it is just a playful thing to do with our chickens and it's a great experiment as you can see he's just moving up oh, he almost went oh no look at that oh naughty chicken <laughs> Uh, okay guys, so now it's time for method number three Tuck and wing. So now we'll put our chicken to sleep in a matter of seconds This is very very effective um, I used this method when I when I was making this video to set up everything I just used this method to keep the chicken still because it puts them to sleep Okay, so we'll just put the chicken down on the ground, we'll take its head, you can do it any way you like, um, you can do it to the right side or left side, I like it to do uh, to the left side because I'm right hand orientated, um, so we'll just 
open this wing up, take his head, put it under its wing, close it, pick the chicken up. Uh, now sometimes that happens. Okay, put the wing like that, just like that. Move it, put it down where the side of with the head is on. Put him down, wiggle a little bit, wiggle, wiggle, just like that, and you can leave our chicken. You can say stay, stay for that for about several minutes or more in this state. And if there is other chickens around, they will wake him up. But now he's in deep sleep, and it is very effective, as you can see. So we'll, re we'll release him back to his flock. As you can see, he is perfectly fine. So there you go, little guy. <laughs> right. Um, thank you for watching, guys. Hope to see you soon um, in my next videos upcoming videos and hit that like and subscribe button and smash that notification bell so that you will be notified of my future uploads thank you for watching see you next in the next episode bye